Hi, in this video we want to talk about accessibility. So we want our document to be accessible to persons who have disabilities and use a screen reader and so on. So we have a tool in tools, accessibility check. So we have no problem in this document, but let's create one. Let's press enter twice and let's check again accessibility check. Avoid new lines to create space. So how we can create that space? We can create space by using paragraph um, space. So let's go to indent above paragraph. We want two centimeters. So now we have that space without pressing enter twice. So if we check again, we will have no problem with accessibility. But let's see more examples in this video about this, why they are important. If we want to export as a PDF, we have this check here, universal accessibility. And if we press export, it will open this accessibility check that we uh, tested before. So it won't export our PDF until we solve our problems. So this is very important. This in order to create access accessible documents for our readers. So let's talk about multiple things that can be solved before exporting as PDF. So let's go to file properties. Let's remove the title because I inserted before and let's check again accessibility check. Document title is not set. So it's very important in order for screen reader to know the name of the document is very important to write it. So in description title, you can write uh, the document title in order to be useful for screen readers. Let's see another example. Now let's insert an image, a chart. So let's test accessibility check, no alt text. So let's right click on the chart or the image. In our case is a chart. Let's go to options and text alternative is the text that is uh, readed by screen readers. So it's very important for you to write it. So we can describe um, what we have in our chart. Of course, again, if we test, we have uh, the same right option. How we can create space? I press enter here, but of course it's not correct. How we can create space uh, above and below a chart or a, an image? Right click properties, wrap, and we can insert here a spacing top one centimeter, bottom one centimeter, and we avoid using enter. Let's uh, have here a paragraph. And let's see if we have any problem now. We have no problem with accessibility in our document. Let's insert a table. And let's merge these two cells. And let, let's test it. Two problems. Table contain merge and or splits. So we cannot have merge cells in an accessibility uh, document. So we have to undo that and use table like it is. Let's check now. Avoid using empty table cells. So if we have a table means that we need something to write in. So let's write something in the table. Now let's check again. Everything is fine. Again, we solve a problem of using tables and we are okay with accessibility. Now let's create from this uh, one paragraph above a uh, three new paragraph. And let's try to number them. So let's uh, check first. We have no problem. And now the first one will be number one and so on. And let's try to export it as PDF. 
So we check universal accessibility, export fake numbering because we have numbered them by hand. This is not correct. So if I want to need to move this paragraph above, I will have two, one, three, and this is not correct. So what we need to do, we can, we need to insert real numbering. So we select the paragraph, we choose from here numbering, and we have one, two, three. Of course, we can arrange this to look like before. Let's play a little bit. Let's have here zero. Let's play again with some values. Okay, so let's keep it like it is. Let's, let's undo. It's okay like that. So now let's see again if we have problems with accessibility. No, everything is fine. So now if I want to change a paragraph to move up, everything is okay and they are automatic numbered. We have no problem with accessibility. Now let's change the color for this text. Let's choose this light gray. So let's check. Two contrast, text contrast is too low. So for visual impaired person, this text is not okay. So we should use a darker color. Now it's perfect. Let's, let's play a little bit to see how much we can go to the lighter colors. It's okay like that. Let's try again. So now the contrast is too low. Okay. So it's very important for your document to be accessible for all the persons, no matter what problems do they have, what difficulties they have, you should have documents that when exported, everything is fine and they can read it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.